Welcome back. Autism Speaks says only 21% of people with disabilities, including autism, are employed. It is a picture the team at Edelbrook is working to change with a number of efforts right here across our community. Grateful to be joining us in the studio this morning. Uh, for Autism Acceptance Month is Alicia Gadudi and the, the director and behavioral services, Monica Rare. Karis, sorry, I said you weren't going to mess up, and I'm messing up. Ladies, <laughs> thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for having us. Alicia, it is so great to have you back on the couch. You have been here before, a leader in this community. Speak big picture, Autism Acceptance Month. We're looking at some of these challenges our friends and neighbors are facing. What does that picture look like right now? Yeah, so at Edelbrook, we serve kids and young adults with autism starting from the young age of three years old all the way through to adulthood. And one of the biggest challenges that our amazing young people face is really finding access to employment. Um, the rate of unemployment for individuals with autism, particularly young adults, is among the highest rate of unemployment for all groups of people with disabilities. So it's a real serious issue. And you are meeting these needs in so many fantastic ways. I've been fortunate to be on the ground at some of your locations. What are you doing to tackle that? How can fo Where can folks go, support you, that sort of thing? So I know you've met some of our amazing students. Um, we are really working to provide education, community engagement, and opportunities for our kids to build those skills that are going to help them be successfully employed. We run a new bookstore um, in Middletown. We run the Barkery also in Middletown. We have a coffee shop. We run a food pantry. And it's all those opportunities for students to practice those skills that are going to help them find jobs and be more independent. I always say there are all kinds of ways we can set, spend our dollars, so support <laughs> yes, someone please. great. Monica, so grateful that you're on the couch. The conversation of autism very much continuing. You are an expert on this front. Speak to the work that you do, in, do day in and day out to kind of help folks. Yeah, I think we really want to focus on the fact that we really need to meet our individuals where we're at. We really like to say if you've met one individual with autism, you've really met one individual with autism. So we really like to take into account their loves, their likes, and really build on their skills and help them be as independently as they can in the community and everyday lives and really kind of involve the community in that to help understand where we're trying to get our individuals and focus on that. And through that, you're able to hopefully help folks open their eyes. The opportunity has really kind of broadened the, the spectrum here and, and maybe have folks consider employing one of mm -hmm. your students or kind of meeting some of their needs. Yeah, we really want to focus on being inclusive and accepting and really understanding the individuals and some of the great work that they really do every day and what they're really capable of and even just a small snapshot to where they can be. Alicia, candidly, I did not know a whole lot of autis about autism until I started interacting with you and some other great organizations. This picture is evolving. You know, today's picture is far different than what we saw just a couple of years ago. You're making progress. We are. Autism is the fastest growing uh, disability. So there's now one in 36 children are diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder. So the need is out there. Um, our services are growing. We run special education schools, residential programs, um, but also we're doing a lot of work to engage the community in understanding the um, amazingness of our, our young people and also the opportunities that they have as employers to be able to hire some of our um, our our students that grow up into adults and are looking for jobs. Alicia, speak to that mom or dad at home who's watching this morning and may just be starting this journey. What is your best advice to them if they have a, have a child who may be able to benefit from some of the work you do? We really like want to encourage you to get out there and connect and go to different um, activities and community outings. There are a lot of people out there who kind of feel isolated and so really connecting them and kind of working and building with them on that community outreach and acceptance in the community. Which leads us beautifully to my final question. I am so excited. April 27th, I, we're going to do a walk together. What's this all about? What do people need to know? So we are doing our third annual fully inclusive walk for autism. It's on our Cromwell campus, which is 60 Hicksville Road in Cromwell. Everybody's invited. It's going to be a celebration of everybody with autism of the community and really just an incredible family fun day to raise awareness and um, really support our incredible kids. Incredible kids is a great way to put it. The team at Edelbrook, you folks know how to party. I am so excited. <laughs> April 27th, all are welcome. So come on out and join us. Need more information, visit our website, fox61.com. Connect with me on social. I'll get you the details you need to know. Uh, Rachel Piscatelli, we will send it over to you. Just another great organization mm -hmm. doing good work in our community. Absolutely. And, you know, Thanks. just uh, showing the power of connection and kind of community and, you know, what that all means. So thanks so much, Keith. 919.